So remembrance and return. Deion Sanders back into baseball. Hits the RBI single, brings in Eddie Tobinsey. The Reds were up by a count of six to four. Still in the six. Dion on first, and he's going. And he's safe because no throw came. Kurt Manwaring just ate the play. Moments later, Barry Larkin at the plate. Reds go with the double steal. Manwaring's throw. My bad. The Reds take a 7 4 lead. They go on to win it 11 4. Sanders, two hits, two stolen bases, and a run scored. The 11 runs by the Reds tied a franchise record for opening day. Jim Bollinger gets the opening day start for the Expos. Top of six, 1 0 Expos. The line out to Shields, the bat, 2 2 pitch. The Shields ripping it to the gap. Rondell White's going after it. He'll pick it up on the bounce. The Shields wants three. And what the Shields wants, the Shields get. He's in. He beats the relay safe. <laughs> right? He's safe. Two batters later, Will and McGee's. Jim Bollinger's pitch. My bad! It's by Darren Fletcher. The Shield scores on the pass ball game tied at one. Bottom of ninth, they gather, they talk. Tony Russo talks to Tony Fossis. Bases loaded. Rondell White, potential of winning a run on third. And he's Stankowitz pitch hitting. The throw to home. Got him. Base is still loaded. Next batter, Sherman Abondo at bat. 3 2 pitch. No, sorry. Ball four. Fossis walks him, and Henry Rodriguez jogs home, and Tony Russo walks away a loser. Not a loser. There he is. No, he's not there. There he is. Making the big scoop at first, J.T. Snow making the play. The wins causing a little trouble in San Francisco. 1-1 game. Jose Guillen's fly ball. Going to be caught by Glenn Allen Hill. He's after it. Okay. Pirates would take a 2-1 lead after later in the inning. Also in the game. Top of seventh, tied at two, two on. Kevin Elster doubling to right center off Julian Tavares. Scores Al Martin, scores Mark Johnson. Scores... Mariners down one. Ken Griffey from David Cohn. Elephant car wash! Out of here! Ken Griffey, first homer, first at bat. The pitch, 76 miles per hour. Game tied at one. Bottom of three. Two, two, two outs. Alex Rodriguez going off Wade Boggs' glove. Derek Jeter with the great throw. Looked like he got him. They called him safe. Jeter with the smile. Rodriguez with the smile. Just like wiffle ball. Close play there. Friends. Next batter, Ken Griffey. Ken Griffey is amused by the simplicity of this game. Second homer, two at bats, 4-2 Mariners. Cone, much less amused. Top of four, Jeff Facero, first AL start. Daryl Strawberry, he's leaving. That's more beer for us. Seven innings pitch, two earned runs, six Ks for his debut. Bottom of five, still 4-2. Griffey for three homers. No. Griffey to be thrown out by Jeter instead. They don't exchange smiles. Top of nine, same score, two on, one out. Norm Charlton, Daryl Strawberry. It's four, six, three, game over for Sarah with his first AL win. Griffey and the Mariners win it by a count of 4-2. So the Mariners wanted pitching help, and the Jeff Facero deal looks festive through one. 96 AL MVP Juan Gonzalez at action a few more weeks. Injured in winter ball. Will Clark, broken finger. His replacement, Lee Stevens. I'm not sure what the pitch is, but it tastes like chicken. <laughs> Out of here. Three-run homer, three-nothing Rangers. That one off of Ben McDonald. Top of second, two out, two on for the Brewers. Ken Hill to Mike Matheny. Follow the hostess, your table is waiting. 4-2 Rangers, top of the fifth. Jose Valentin, the tying run, leading off and going for it. Devon Rodriguez, he got him. The Rangers maintain their two-run lead. Top of the ninth, John Wetland on the mound. They brought him in from New York, but he loaded the bases. Dave Neal's from the batter. A grand slam will tie it. A pop-up will end it. And this one did. Benji Gill making the tough play to get the out. And the Rangers are winners by a count of 6-2. to two. So a bit of a struggle, but the World Series MVP got out of his 30-pitch one inning. Dome. Let's let them play. Top of the third, Astros up 1-0, and Chipper Jones got it. Just get it right out of the way off the top. He ties the game up for the Braves at 1-1. Astro fans... Respond by throwing their true value souvenir balls on the field. Bottom seven Astros up two to one. Luis Gonzalez tries to add to the lead, but Kenny Lofton on his imaginary horse leaps and makes the catch. And the Astro fans respond by throwing their true value souvenir balls at Kenny Lofton. And I guess it's a good time to promo Jackie Robinson photo ball night next week. Good timing. In the top of the ninth, Astros up two to one. Billy Wagner ends it by blowing one by Mike Mortarhigh to give Durker his first managerial win. And one, I guess, helpful hint to the people in Houston, hand out those Jackie Robinson balls after the game. That's Jim Leland telling Wayne Heisinger, thank you for being so rich. Moise Salou, on whom Heisinger spent lots of cash in the offseason. Homer's in his first at bat. Mullins up one nothing in the bottom of the second. Kevin Brown, cruising. Scott Service, looking. 
Brown struck out four through three. Bottom third, bottom of the third, man on second, Edgar Renteria lays down the bunt, and rookie Kevin Ory decides to let it go, and that's not a good idea. Luis Castillo comes around on what was called a double. That's home cooking. Marlins up. Top of the five, Ory atones for his error, breaks up. Brown's no-hit bid in the fifth with his first major league hit, and they're throwing balls in Florida as well. Ryan Sandberg spitting into his glove. That really didn't do very much on this play. Whoops, through the wick. It's his second error of the game for Rhino, and then at the plate, Fowles went off the plate, into his face. He had to leave the game. As for Kevin Brown, he was remaining on cruise control. Sammy Sosa swinging. Brown throws seven innings at one-handed ball, striking out eight with two six, and that's when they busted out. The whooping stick. Chris Gomez goes deep against Pete Harnish, who says, am I bleeding? Because I just got tagged. Next batter, Ricky Henderson. And when Ricky does this, and then does this, and spits, you know it's a back-to-back -back homer. Padres down 4-2. Next batter, Kilvio Varis. Are you back-to-back-to-back yeah, -to -back -to -back homers? Yes, the last time the Pods did that was their 87 home opener. And then... Bobby Valentine brought in Toby Borland. He threw 21 pitches, 15 were balls. He walks Gomez, who batting again with the bases loaded. Padres at one. Now Barry Emanuel comes in and does one better. He hits Ricky Henderson with the bases loaded. It's 6-4 Padres. Tony Gwynn, base hit left field. Two runs score. It's now a 9-4 Padres. And Pete Harnish alone, dejected, bumming. The scoreboard says it all. An 11 spot in the sixth. So the Padres go on to win 12-5. Said Bobby Valentine of the forgettable frame, quote, as Ravine, Tommy Lasorda in civilian clothes, Brett Butler was not. And Butler did strike out in his first at bat. Mickey Morandini sends a flare to left. Todd Hollinsworth makes a diving grab. Top of the fifth, one nothing fills. Rookie Scott Rowland. Base hit left field off of Ramon Martinez. Greg Jeffries come on down, two nothing Phillies. Kurt Schilling was on. Hollinsworth swinging 11 strikeouts in the day for Schilling. Terry Francona celebrates a win in his managerial debut. Cy Young champ Pat Hankin taking the curveball down the right field line with a couple men on base. Tony Phillips come on down. 1 0 White Sox. It was 2 0 Sox in the second when Carlos Delgado. Delgado. He Delgado every last piece of the baseball off the Hard Rock Cafe. He went 3 for 4 with two RBIs in the day. 2 1 Sox. And I guess all I can say is nice pants. Really, that's all I can say. Henkin still pitching in the eighth, leading 5-2 at this point, and then Albert Bell changes the score. A two-run shot, it's now 5-4 Jays. We go to the top of the ninth, it's still 5-4 Jays, when Norberto Martin, Norby, the pinch hit home run, Mike Timlin's first pitch of the year, and Norby takes him yard. Hi, Norby. Top of the 10th, still 5-5. Ray Durham on first, two outs, Tony Pena. Ball goes underneath Alex Gonzalez's glove, and Durham's gonna try and score from first. Here's the throw, here's the play at the plate, he's safe! And the White Sox go up 6-5 and hold on to win by that margin. The Blue Jays were 10,000 short in the stands in G top of the fourth. Brad Radke would like this pitch back. Melvin Nieves goes deep to right center field, gone. Tigers up 3-0, they were up 5-0, and then proceeded to blow it. It's now 5-3 in the bottom of the eighth. Terry Steinbach back home in Minnesota celebrates with a broken bat single that scores fellow Minnesota native Paul Molitor. Cuts the lead to 5-4. To Sack fly by Greg Colburn ties the game. And then Pat Miras puts one in the vaunted wind tunnels of the Baggy Dome. Two-run shot. Twins go up 7-5. And that is your final to this ballgame. So the Tigers set an AL record.